Good morning, everybody out there in YouTube land. Um, I wanted to give you a little update. Uh, many of you are probably already doing this, probably already trying this and having really good success. Um, I have recently began using, nope, not that one, uh, the GC initial block, get that to focus, um, which is lithium disilicate. Um, I have a limited knowledge of the chemistry, aside from the fact that it's essentially equivalent to Emacs lithium disilicate. Um, however, some differences are um, exist in the particle size. So I'm beginning uh, to try out the GC initial block. Um, we've done a couple of them yesterday. Um, I really like the handling characteristics. The edge integrity seems great. Um, I don't have any personal anecdotal or otherwise measurable differences between Emacs and GC initial um, yet, uh, aside from the time difference that it takes uh, to deliver a completed restoration because there's no firing required with the GC initial. Now, a couple of things, a couple of thoughts that occurred to me as I had Jennifer, our uh, GC rep, on the phone um, after she dropped off a sleeve of blocks for me. You know, questions such as, you know, we, we've got strength ratings given to us in the brochures and the scientific data. Um, what's the longevity, the testing longevity of those strength ratings? Is this something um, that we have one year, two years, three years? And I know she mentioned to me that the GC initial has been available in a pressed form for the labs for quite some time, but hasn't yet been available uh, broadly for those of us in clinical CAD CAM settings like with CEREC um, and other uh, machines such as CEREC. So th there's not quite as much data yet. Um, you know, and one of the great things about Ivoclar and Emacs is we've got 10 years of track record of really solid, you know, excellent long-term outcome um, with Emacs. You know, many of us have used Emacs as our bread and butter for years, and I, I have. It's been my go-to restorative material. Um, and now I'm trying out um, GC Initial uh, because my understanding, and this could change, but my current understanding is that this material is equivalent in many ways to Emacs, um, aside from the fact that it uh, doesn't require firing. There's a particle size difference, um, which allows potentially for better uh, marginal characteristics. Um, and it seems to be um, a little bit more you know, time efficient. So um, I'm gonna do a little research um, I'll try to post and give you an update um, as I go through this. Uh, again, I'm pretty excited to see um, how this material works. Um, uh, I am told, I could, could be corrected and I could be wrong, but I'm told that the universal stains we use for Emacs, which is lithium disilicate, can be used um, on the GC initial block um, because it's also lithium disilicate. So theoretically, we could be saving our, ourselves some time in, in multiple ways. Um, you know, oftentimes if, if I do a crown, an anterior crown in particular, and it doesn't blend well, then I'll add some staining and glazing um, and then fire it. Um, in this case, you know, if we try in the crown, of course, pre-firing, um, we've already saved roughly 20 to 25 minutes, depending on which setting that you use, um, then we can stain and glaze it uh, in, in the mouth or much, much more quickly. So it seems to be uh, the GC initial is gonna provide quite a bit of time savings um, clinically. Now, the results have yet to, to play out in my personal experience, and again, I'm going to do some additional research, and I'll try to re report back, but I'm pleasantly optimistic, or what's the word, cautiously optimistic about um, this new material. Um, it's not going to replace Emacs yet. Again, I'm early on the early, in the early investigation phase, um, but I'll keep you updated. You know, in the end, what we're looking for is good long-term clinical results that serve our patients well and that provide the clinicians with um, opportunities to, to deliver um, and maintain and um, you know work with good long-lasting long-term uh, materials. Um, I'm not interested in a material that's going to be just faster um, at the expense of quality or longevity and, and I'm sure many if not all of you would agree with that. Um, trade-offs are not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something that's going to be equivalent or better. Um, and if it's equivalent, I probably will not make a change uh, from largely from Emacs to the GC initial. Um, but if it's better time-wise um, and all other factors are equivalent, 
um, then I may consider making a, a major shift. Um, but I'm, you know, like I said, pretty excited to, to be evaluating this. Um, just personally, I, you know, I wasn't asked to be a beta test or anything. I, I'm, I'm sure some of you out there that are watching this video have beta tested, and I'd be interested in your feedback, um, good or, or bad, positive or negative, you know. Um, always uh, interested in learning more. But that's my update for today. Um, on a side note, um, which I am going to be starting an additional channel so that it doesn't kind of take over this um, dental side of things, uh, potentially, at least I'm thinking about starting another channel. Um, my wife and I um, have a very small little, you could call it a hobby farm, um, that we have started. We have some chickens, we have a whole bunch of um, flowers, which is one of the purposes that we uh, bought the uh, a few acres that we have for. Um, so we're pretty excited to see how that goes. So you may see another little channel um, show up. Um, her website is emerald-flowers.com and so our farm is Emerald Farm. Um, emerald as in the green stone, gemstone emerald. Um, so we're pretty excited about that. Uh, anyway, it's been an adventure because we moved about a month ago and we're still in boxes and we're still working through all this, you know, the adventure of unpacking and the adventure of settling in and trying to determine what's going on and where and how and do we want to replace this floor or do this to the color of the walls. Um, and in the meantime, you know, life is very busy. So it's been an adventure. Anyway, so I'll keep you posted uh, and check out my other channel that may show up or continue watching it, uh, the videos on this channel. I appreciate your support. Um, please let me know if there's any questions that you have. If there are any questions that you have, um, I'd be happy to do my best to respond and give you some feedback and input. Thanks. Bye.